physical defense. Uh, they come out, they'll play to the end of the whistle. You know, they'll, they'll go hard for all 60 minutes. Um, I think we've done a good job at uh, matching teams' physicality and sometimes uh, getting over defense and playing a little more physical with them. So I think we just got to come out and just you know play how we've been playing all year, uh, continuing to improve since last game, and uh, we'll be all right. What areas do you think that they do best? Um, I'll say you know just just mixing up the different coverages. You know they can they can look like they're in one like the last play, but they'll roll and they'll, they'll get into another type of defense. Um, so, you know, like I said before, we just make our routine plays, our routine reads, uh, we'll be all right. Not try to do too much or worry too much about what they're doing, um, as much as just uh, focus on our, our own stuff. That's what, everyone, that's what everyone's saying right now. Um, I don't think too much about the other team's offense. I just worry more about our own. So, you know, I know we're going to put up points as long as we just take care of our business and uh, make our own routine plays. Uh, what our defense does, what uh, their offense does, is something out of my control, so I try not to worry too much about that. Last year, Lafayette was here at home the state of Does that um, influence your approach at all? No, uh, we just approach as kind of a away game type deal. You know, obviously, they are going to have a lot more people. It's almost a home game for them. Uh, so for us, it's just another away game. You know, we played some loud stadiums this year. Uh, South Carolina is pretty loud, uh, but we'll see what it's like here on Saturday. Uh, and it's not really concerned to us about the Good. Good. Um, susceptible. You know, they're, they're a sound defense. You know, they don't give up a lot. They try to, they try to make a lot of plays and uh, jump on routes. I think we may be able to take advantage of that at times. Um, just knowing when to take our shots downfield, uh, knowing when we just check it down. Uh, not try to force anything too much. You know, if you start forcing, I think they'll be able to jump in, uh, get an interception, make turnovers. So as long as we just take care of ourselves and uh, focus on our own stuff. Gel with how much has it been an advantage to have this extra three weeks of practice? Well, I think it's been a great advantage for us. You know, uh, first week all we worked on was just our own offense. Uh, we didn't worry too much about uh, uh, losing a Lafayette at all. It was just focused on our own, our own stuff, working on some fundamental stuff for me. Um, and just like you said, yeah, getting more gel time, getting more uh, just reps with the receivers, yeah, running more routes, more drops, more. Um, just everything, just getting, just getting back to the basics and the fundamentals. You look at some of these receivers on this team, I mean, you could throw to any guy out there, and they're going to make catches. I mean, with the, the catch that Danny Webster made in the back of the end zone, it looked like he was 20 feet off the ground with, you know, with Hardy and Jones. I mean, you've got tons of talented receivers out there. Yeah, and, uh, you know, it was the competition this summer. It was like, you know, when you come in to get the spot, you don't have to worry about it too much. Just get the ball to the playmakers, yeah. uh, make routine plays on your own. You know, the playmakers I got around me, it's, it's, it makes my job a lot easier, you know. Running back as well, uh, Tanius Cooper, Reggie Bullock, you know, they've been running great, Michael Dobson. Um, so, you know, it's really just taking care of the ball and just getting out of the playmakers. And have you, has it finally kind of set in that game day's right around the corner? Definitely, you know. Uh, we're in the Superdome today practicing and, uh, you know, obviously media day. But, yeah, we realize this game's right here and uh, we're ready. We do. Thanks, man. Any thoughts on the growth of the Sun Belt Conference and, you know, representing Conference USA against them? Um, I haven't focused too much on Sun Belt this year. You know, we've, we've obviously had to focus on our own conference a little bit, and uh, obviously this season our conference is going to look a little different. Um, but I know uh, Sun Belt is a good conference. It matches right there in Conference USA. I know uh, Louisiana Lafayette's a good team, and they they play great in their conference. Um, so I'm, I'm really looking forward to this matchup on Saturday. Thanks. 